Mm, there's nothing as exciting as meeting a like-minded person. That's how I'm feeling this morning with the lady next to me as we journey on in Women's Month, celebrating each other, but more so empowering each other, accelerating the Empower Her Initiative campaign. It's going to be a fast focal discussion this morning. I am Priscilla Regina Daluaga. Now, the backbone of it is that Nation Media Group in conjunction with SEHA, the ATC Uganda, Equity Bank, as well as Uganda Boys Limited, AH, uh, AHF, Uganda Cares, and also Standard Chartered, came into a partnership to accelerate the Empower Her Women in Leadership Dinner that was held last week on Thursday. Now, it gathered Kampala and Uganda's cream de la cream as far as influential leaders are concerned, professionals, advocates dedicated to advancing gender equality in leadership roles. Now, this year's event was focusing on the theme of achieving an equal future, and this was exploring the challenges, the successes, as well as the strategies for creating a more equitable world for all. And so all these ladies from different professions and sectors were put in one room uh, to push that agenda. One of those ladies was Laura Bahemuka, the head of Micro Segments Equity Bank, and she's here this morning to tell us more about what transpired in that room that day and how as Equity Bank they are ready to pick on the journey of achieving an equal future, empowering her. Good morning to you, Laura. Good morning, Priscilla. How are you? Very good. How are you? Good, thank you. I love the pals that you have <laughs> donned this morning. Thank you very much. All right. So let's talk about Empower Her. You were in that leadership dinner last week. And uh, what was the environment like in the room, the energy like, but also the commitments of different women in different sectors, such as banking? Okay. Uh, warm greetings from Equity Bank. Um, a family of about 1,400 staff, um, a family of about 2 million customers, uh, a family that uh, brags about women, and um, we are regional best bank, uh, equity group. Uh, we are in Uganda, Congo, South Sudan, uh, we are in Kenya, Tanzania, yes, and six, we are in six countries. Mm -hmm. uh, that dinner was an, such an inspiration. Uh, the women, the like-mindedness of the women, the positive attitude, the urge to grow and move from one step to another was completely amazing. Uh, those are some of the things that drive us at Equity Bank. As our papa says, transforming lives, giving dignity, and empowering um, our, our communities, it is just clear that um, the, the idea, the having women together and talk about one thing, growing from one step to another, I mean, I think as a bank, that's what we live for. Okay. Yes. All right. And as Equity Bank, why did you choose to come on board as partners to drive this agenda? Like I said, our purpose is uh, transforming lives and giving dignity. Uh, to do that in a country like Uganda, you ex absolutely cannot leave the women. Um, as a woman myself, I, I am completely in agreement with this purpose. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Um, in our daily lives as women, we juggle completely different responsibilities and society has donned it on us to make things work. But mostly, um, financially, that is where the strength is. If a woman is uh, financially independent, empowered and enabled, then they can make the right decisions. They can balance family, they can balance businesses, they can balance society expectations, and they can do away with whatever negative has been put around them. Mm -hmm. So as Equity Bank, um, we have created an environment or with our customers and within ourselves we have created an environment where the woman is able to do this you're able to be independent financially we empower you in terms of financial literacy training we uphold your hand in terms of business management and so on and so forth okay yes. now the, the custom is usually um, entities like yourself will empower to the outward mm -hmm. and not necessarily look to the inward let's talk about the women in equity bank I know that uh, maybe if you can comfortably share with us the percentages as far as employment is concerned mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to women and leadership the empowerment levels there and how is equity bank within your staff that you pride of in thousands are empowering each other okay um, I will start with the top management mm -hmm. uh, about 50% of our management is women and so we have the big women, the big shots are up there, and they are women, proudly associated. 
Uh, in our general staff percentages, we're about 60% women. Mm -hmm. uh, like the saying goes, um, women in finance usually have it right. So yes, we have done a very good job. We are intentional at um, recruitment. We are intentional in promotion. We are intentional in... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, keeping, making sure that the woman grows from one step to another internally. The opportunities will come. The opportunities that come up are, are open. Um, they are as equal as possible. It's an equal opportunity environment. But the women have been given chance to step up a hundred percent in terms. Also, in terms of recruitment, usually the jobs we have or the opportunities we have are open and are f usually we take in at entry level we take in fresh graduates. Mm -hmm. But we encourage the girls. We encourage the girl child. We encourage the women to come in as much as possible. Yes. Okay. All right, Laura. Now, when it comes to Equity Bank, what are you doing to ensure that there's financial stability for the woman in Uganda? Uh, as well as inclusion of women and supporting them? Um, we recently launched our Equimama suit. Equimama is a product tailored to meet the women's needs. And the uptake has been amazing. Uh, the society, the community has totally embraced this. And this year, particularly this month, we dubbed our our content, we dubbed our offering Abachala Kuntiko, if you've been following. Mm -hmm. And the, the response from the women in the communities has absolutely been amazing. So what we do is that um, given the restraints, given the the challenges that the woman faces in terms of security, in terms of access to finance, access to affordable financial services. These products that this product that we have that we de developed and put on, on into the community is strictly woman. So you don't have security, this is the one for you. Uh, you want financial literacy training, this is the one. You're struggling with rec uh, record keeping and documentation of your business, this is the one for you. Mm -hmm. You want to reach out to a personal um, business manager, you want to reach out to a personal banker, you want to really associate with this because it speaks exactly in the needs. It, it, it addresses the challenges that the woman has in the financial world. So we are proudly associated with the Equimama suit. It has insurance, health insurance for the woman. It has very affordable rates in terms of interest rates. It is very accessible. It is accessible in all our 50 branches. It is very beautiful. Okay. Yes. Well, that's quite uh, intriguing to learn more about and of course uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's open to women yes, in all is. categories yes it is okay all right so what's the significance of achieving gender equality as far as uh, business arena is concerned or even finance arena is concerned in terms of leadership mm -hmm. so um, we believe at Equity Bank that um, gender equality is not only a right it's not only a phenomena it's not only a statement but we should live up to it um, we think that in the financial world, uh, given that we're a financial institution, mm -hmm. the best equality you would give to a woman is financial independence. The ability to make the decisions that drive the independence that they are looking for, the freedom that yeah. they are looking the, the, for. The, let me just stop you right there. The other day in you know, our WhatsApp group with some you know, friends of mine, um, we were talking about the definition of the word brock. And uh, <laughs> there's a sister of ours who's you know, very pompous and she loves to look good. So she said, I'm broke. And so the guys asked, what's the definition of broke here? Mm -hmm. So I help them understand that when she says she's broke, it's not that she doesn't have money, but she doesn't have cash at that moment to make a decision that she desires mm -hmm. for herself. So, and I absolutely agree with you. Um, but as a woman, we have been, we've been groom, groomed to say, you don't look that part. Yeah. So I agree with her. Mm -hmm. Should she look broke? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Should she come to Equity Bank mm -hmm. so that we make sure she looks looks money, yeah. lives money, mm -hmm. understands money, yeah. but most of all, makes the money. Yeah. So what we have done is uh, when you give you that environment, you have an account with us, which you only need a national ID. There are no charges on that account. You can easily access our facility with us mm -hmm. and secured up to five million. So we, you have given, we've given you financial literacy training so you know how to manage your business. You've taken care of your records. You've probably even employed a couple of more ladies. So we think that 
we have empowered you enough to make the right decisions at home, in your business, in society. So we are proudly associated. Okay, I may still be seated here, but in my head, I have run looking for my national ID uh, to, <laughs> you know, line up for the unsecured <laughs> loan. So it makes my life very comfortable in certain decisions that I have to make. But at the end of the day, we also have to ask the important question too of how can you create inclusivity as well as diverse workplaces that foster one growth mm -hmm. and also foster opportunity for all, uh, both individuals as well as society. Mm -hmm. So we believe at Equity Bank that creating these inclusive environments is key. Uh, it is very good to have this inclusive environment to foster growth and development. And I talked this. I talked about this earlier. Um, in recruitment, uh, we. We are very intentional, yes. It's a very equal opportunity environment, but we are intentional to give the woman a chance. So we feel that once the woman is empowered from the start, hand-holding, uh, chances to develop themselves, chances to go back to school, chances to, you know, to lead, chances to grow uh, career-wise, chances to grow, I think we have mastered that part. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? When you combine, for example, um, Equity Bank has a very young workforce. When you combine the experience uh, of the old workforce and you combine it with the agility, you combine it with the zeal, you combine it with the determination of the young staff that we are recruiting right now, I think that's when you have it. So you have the experience of the old ones and you have the, uh, the, the determination, the zeal, the yearning of the new ones, a combo of the two, then you have clicked it. Okay. Laura, well, it's been a pleasure having this discussion. Mm -hmm. You're quite empowering, if I must say, and to you, the woman that is watching this morning, I trust that you're picking a cent or two uh, from this information and using it for the best of your ability because at the end of the day, it's about achieving an equal future in 2024. Mm -hmm. That being said, uh, your closing remarks. Um, as a woman, um, any woman, I just want to call upon any woman watching this right now, stand up, move, nurture yourself, yeah. develop, grow. Hold hands of a fellow woman. Please, please hold hands of a fellow woman. But mm -hmm. this year particularly, and tomorrow, for example, we'll be in Fort Porto uh, with our Chala Contico. We did one last week uh, at Uma Showgrounds, and oh my God, ladies, thank you for showing up. Very amazing, ladies, mm -hmm. very positive. Tomorrow we'll be in Fort Porto, and next, next Wednesday we'll be in Bali. Please show up. Uh, one of the things I have mastered, or one of the things I have, I have seen, when a lady shows up, mm -hmm. when a lady shows up, you never stay the same. Ladies, mm -hmm. please show up. If it's a wedding, if it's a function, if it's a financial literacy session, please show up. Okay. All right. That is Lauren with Equity Bank. And thank you so much for your continued you partnership with Nation Media Group. And she has put it right. Ladies, please stand up in 2024. And she has mentioned two things, and they, they start with a G. She has mentioned grow, and uh, that grow leads you to glow. But also, <laughs> the other G that you need to put in there is goals. Have goals for yourself. Set goals, set targets for yourself uh, so that you can be able to achieve them. And Equity Bank is here to help you achieve them financially. Well, that brings us to the end of this conversation. We take a bender. We return shortly. Ladies, please stay with us.